do you know that Lakeview has been open for 25 years? My name is Aria. What is your name? My name is Terry Lund. When did you work here? I worked here from 1998 to 2011. What was your job? My job was being principal for the building. What do you do now? Right now I serve on the school board, which is a group of people that help run all the schools, not just Lakeview. My name is Grace. What is your favorite Lakeview memory? My favorite memory is that we were raising money to build the playground one year, and if they reached their goal, uh, a fifth grade teacher and myself would sleep on top of the roof. <laughs> okay. And we did that. Nice. What did you miss about being a principal? What I miss most of the kids and the staff and the parents. We had great people that were here at Lake. My name is Alex. What was your favorite school lunch? My favorite school lunch was Italian Dunkers. Do they still have those here? Yes. Oh, that's great. <laughs> Do you have any advice for the students here? My advice would be just to work hard. This is a very good time in your life and being in school and working hard and achieving so that you can do all the things you want to do when you grow up. Okay, thank you for your time. Uh, thank you for your time. I am here with... Patty Strafe. I was the original office manager at Lakeview. Um, what are you doing right now? Right now I'm retired. I've been retired from Lakeville Schools for about five and a half years and enjoying my retirement. Can you describe one memory from Lakeview, possibly like a favorite one? I guess just how we all came together as a staff and we worked super hard getting that building ready for all the students and everybody just pitched in and made everything work and we had a great successful opening day so it was wonderful. What is your favorite thing about Lakeview? I think that we were such a family. Um, we knew each other so well, we knew each other's children, um, you know, just every day felt like going to work with your family and it really didn't even feel like work, it just really felt like we were a team working uh, great together. Yeah. Hi, I'm Emma, what's your name? I'm Erin, nice to meet you Emma. <laughs> what are you doing now? Uh, well right now I'm currently not in school, but I'm traveling back and forth to Nashville and just working, kind of pursuing the goals and dreams of being a country musician, and um, I'm having really fun doing it, so that's what I'm doing. How did Lakeview prepare you for your current life? Um, it prepared me music-wise, for sure. Um, Mrs. Differding really prepared me in that realm. And um, just kind of loving life. They made life so much fun, my elementary years. Describe one memory from Lakeview, like your favorite thing. Well, my favorite memory, favorite thing of all time was when Mr. King did his musicals. And when I got him as my fifth grade teacher, I was so excited because I was like, yes, I'm going to be in one of those musicals and I'm going to be able to act and do whatever. I never did get to like be a big role or a lead, but I got to sing and that was the most <laughs> important part and I loved that. So that was really fun. Who was your most... Mem memorable teacher and why? Mrs. Differding for sure. Um, she's absolutely the most unbelievable person ever. I seriously, I would not be where I am without her for sure. And um, she totally prepared me to be where I am today and to keep going. And I definitely would not be doing what I'm doing without her. So, yeah. She's Hi, awesome. my name is Claire and I'm here with. My name's Courtney Backstrom. Thank you, Courtney, for being here and answering some questions with us today. What are you doing now? So I'm currently down in Rochester at Mayo Clinic. I am one of the general surgery research assistants. So I'm in the operating room, I'm conducting research, and I'm presenting that research all around the United States. That's very cool. <laughs> um, how did Lakeview prepare you for your current life? That's a really good question. Um, I guess just off the bat, the genuine friendships that I made um, are gonna last a lifetime. It's absolutely amazing that we're still in touch at this age. And I guess specifically one of the characteristics that they um, really prefaced on me was organization skills. So that is one thing that I'm very fortunate to have. So thank you, Lakeview. <laughs> Can you describe one memory from Lakeview, like a favorite thing? 
I guess specifically um, an event that I still remember to this day is Pioneer Day in fourth grade. It was super fun to dress up. Um, my mom is one of the fourth grade teachers, so it was super fun to see her throughout that day. Um, and uh, I still remember churning the ice cream and thinking that was so cool that we were able to like make ice cream. Who was your most memorable teacher and why? It's pretty cool that I can still remember every single one of my teachers from first grade through fifth grade. I think specifically, um, I had in fifth grade Mr. King, and he had these like weekly words where they were super hard to pronounce, and he would really work with us to not only know how to pronounce those words, but how to retain them and use them in our daily vocabulary. What's your, what's your name? I'm Mr. Xander. What's your name? Wilson. When did you go to Lakeview? Oh, jeez. Um, I went to Lakeview for third through sixth grade, which was probably about 20, 25 years ago. Um, and it was awesome. The school looks pretty much just the same. What are you doing now? I'm actually a fourth grade teacher right here at Lakeview Elementary. And it's been everything that I hoped it would be. What is your favorite school lunch? Ooh, good question. Um, can I give you two? Sure. Thank you. Um, it'd be a toss-up between a chicken patty on the bun. That was always my favorite one. I'd actually go up and get two of them. They got rid of it. They got rid of it? Oh. <laughs> um, and then I also loved con or country fried steak with the mashed potatoes and the gravy. And it would come with this little soft bun on the side as well. I always thought it paired well with an ice cold chocolate milk. What was your favorite teacher? Oh, well, that may not be a fair question since a lot of them are still here. But so in third grade, I had Mr. English. And in fourth grade, I had Mr. Ritter, who was actually a teacher here that um, I replaced in the middle of the school year. Um, in fifth grade, I had a teacher by the name of Mrs. Reichel, and actually she is now a principal over at an elementary, a middle school, elementary school in Farmington. And then my sixth grade teacher, because there was sixth grade in this building when I went to school, that was also Mr. English. So I had both Mr. Englishes, Mr. Ritter. I also had Mrs. Laubach for some classes. So that's the really cool thing about being here now, Wilson, is that a lot of the teachers that I had are still here. Mrs. Differding was the music teacher. Mr. Iverson was the phi ed teacher. So it's almost like I'm still going to school here.